Nigerian politicians, including Hopu Zadima, you should be ashamed of yourself that in the United Nations, you only got three votes. Nezenu, my Botswana, my Uganda, my Ghana, people, Somalia, countries before that has no place in the world are they having 180 something votes, 170 something yeah. votes, and they're all Nigerian. They put on one superpower of West Africa getting only three votes in the United Nations uh, 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 voting for uh, Human Rights Commission. So that shows the world, that shows every single person here that Nigeria is a failed state. We are the only one holding ourselves. Nigeria is gone and is gone forever. Nothing, nothing will revive Nigeria anymore. That name actually within the next couple of years is gonna go into the trash can of the countries then we're gonna be for. And Nigeria is gonna be one of them. So I think everyone here, again, like our PN says, we are against Nigerian government, not individuals. Abulunima, that you are supporting Nigeria government in any way, either in the Nigerian army, Nigerian police, Nigerian security, Nigerian immigration. The PM has said today, we are not against you. But if you wear the Nigerian uniform representing Nigerian government in Biafra land, you are going to pay the price yes. and you're going to pay the ultimate price for supporting a terrorist government that is in Biafra land. These are terrorists that kill our people, maim our people, burn our houses, burn our businesses, burn our homes in Biafra territory. If you are one of them, you have yourself to blame. And our Biafra prime minister have extended the olive arm to all of you, all Biafrans serving in the Nigerian terrorist government. Our PM have told you to leave. And as we are going on today, we have sent out a phone number to call. If you are a Biafran serving in the terrorist government, our prime minister has given you the last chance. Call that number and come home and defend your own territory, defend your motherland. Nigeria is a first state. Biafra land has no prison. Biafra land, they will ban it. If you are caught, sorry is your name. So you have a choice to call that number, leave the Nigerian terrorist state, whom United Nations need only three votes showing everybody that Nigeria is a forgotten, is a failed state. Exactly. So if you are wearing any Nigerian uniform, Nigerian military uniform, Nigerian police uniform, Nigerian security uniform, sorry is your name. We have no prison. We have no jail. If you are caught inside Biafra land, you are gone. To us. Thank you so much. Again, I'm not going to go into that has shown that Nigeria is a first state. Biafra is coming on 2nd December. We have five days in Finland starting from November 29th to December the 3rd. Everybody is welcomed in Finland. We are going to redeclare Biafra. Our freedom is in our hands. Nobody is holding us. All the indigenous Nigerians, all the houses, all the middle belt, all the Yorubas, all the Biafrans, all the South Side people, we are the one holding ourselves. Okay. Ask yourself, how many politicians on Ekahade? There are less than one over 100. We are the one holding ourselves to take our land back because how to go Nigeria into a terrorist state? It is our responsibility to clear them and declare our different regions from the Biafra government, from the Biafra territory to the Oduduwas, to the Middle Belt, to the Arawas. It is time for us to stand up right now and claim our land from these terrorists that are killing our people, killing the Christians.
Christians and burying them in mass graves, yeah. they are too little. Like I said, one of them, they're only 1%, and we are 99. Do not stop in what we are doing. So on that note, I thank everybody here so much. I thank you all for being here today to support Ndi Otunoke Zinona. I thank you for all your donations. And we must continue doing what we are doing. There is no stepping back because we know Nigeria is a failed state. I'm not going to talk about the dangerous diversity in Nigeria from the Sharia in the north and allowing all the people to practice whatever in the south. I'm not going to talk about the marginalization of their friends or the centralized police, whereby and when anything name and a police, I got cognitive opportunity to give a. Uh, approval before you solve a problem in South, 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 East or South West, which is not accepted. I'm not gonna talk about the insecurity. Nigerian government reintegrates known terrorists into the Nigerian police, Nigerian army. What country in the world reintegrates known terrorists? Christopher Musa, what you don't know, in Boronu, in Zamfara, they reintegrate known terrorists into the Nigerian police and army. That is why anybody, any Nigerian security wearing Nigerian police military in Biafra territory, your days are numbered. Yes. You better resign. We have Christopher uh, Musa or uh, Lagos uh, uh, police people calling for people to uh, register in the Nigerian police, Nigerian army. Nobody is going to register. Nobody will join Nigeria military and Nigeria. Right. We know that they they reintegrate, they employ terrorists into the Nigeria army. Any indigenous Nigeria join in the Nigeria military or Nigeria police, you gotta watch your back. Because they get a hand agent or that they are non-terrorists. Once you turn your back, they shoot you down. Indigenous is encouraged to join the Nigerian military police because Musa and Tinubu have infiltrated Nigerian police, Nigerian military with reintegrated terrorists, Boko Haram, Fulani terrorists. So do not join them because they will shoot you down in a minute. Okay. And that's the Islamization of Nigeria. All of us know the game that they are playing that has made a Nigeria a member of the IOC. I'm not going to talk about the mother of Christians. How do they work Christians 247? You all remember Deborah. Deborah was a Christian living in the northern part of Nigeria. And she was stoned to death because she just said, uh, Mohammed is something, something. They stoned her to death. So things we're going to be talking about the oppression, suppression. Killing and burning of Biafran markets, Biafran businesses, Biafran homes. We talk about the killings in Okuama, where over 100 people were killed. And we talk about the taxing of Nigerian people by the terrorists. They take it over, not west, not east. What are we going to talk about? So there's no lack of justice. Our own Namdekano is still languishing in Biafra detention. Namdekano. United Nations are working on Nigeria, releasing now the kind of compensate him. They refuse. Three judicial organizations, three competent courts in Nigeria have told Nigerian government, releasing now the kind of, and they refuse. What are we talking about? We are the one holding ourselves. Yes. The Nigerian terrorist government with Tunubu, they are less than 1%. We must continue to give them the pressure and mount the pressure until we collapse Nigeria. Without collapse of Nigeria, terrorism, we take over Nigeria, take over West Africa, take out over America, take out over South Korea, take off over all the countries in the world. And we are the ones that will do that. Oh, to our God. So now the Kawaga in all over four years in Nigeria detention. Can you hear the 50 year game, Mayor? Mm -hmm. Any Nigerian person, any terrorist government, any terrorist in Nigeria, Biafra, in Biafra territory, wearing Nigerian military uniform, Nigerian terrorist uh, uh, uniform, all of them must go down because all of them are terrorists. Saludo has come out to tell us that a one day sit at home will continue. 
Saludo, I dare you to open your office any Monday in Biafra land. You put them on it. Oh, to a card. Yes. And I call on Biafra. That Monday sit at home must continue. Oh, to a Support through that Monday sit at home is our Prime Minister Simon Eba. Oh, the exactly. great OS have fought and fought and fought. But the way the hijacks are, I get one, I get one, and here going on, Amen. Biafra land, if you dare, if you follow Solon, he will put you singing, whether my make a tell shop, whether I wear the look anywhere, you bring your head out any Monday, you will pay the price. And I get one, Amen. Support. I don't want to go far, but there's just so much, and I thank all of you here. And I thank you, Adadi Orama, for using this opportunity. Our own, I don't know, our era in the house. We thank all of you. And uh, on this note, I will bring this event to an end, and I'll hand it over to the people that are the coordinators. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 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 Whether I am an impression, I may make a poor with the receipt, or less known to Kendall's or Z. Call on and under the one of the eighty, some of them may send you an amateur. So, only now, Aqua Aquania, Napa government, Aquana, Napa government, Nabam Nabia land, Kajam, Aquana, Napa government, Nam America. So, Na defacto government say easy Atu ama yandu ba sana ama atu anya abi anjingas ndo no munem manda ba tangu na zoom na side na watch onu ni ne onu anwaka gosho kuna na ba sozi na snake lorry onu le wana ya kaya dene ni bikon ama na pebo disi kana kana imetia go onya abu na kana imetia go close the mark ama zim unmute yourself after you have to go meet ina. Okay, I'm going to yourself a greater today. Unmute yourself. How I'm going to hit you on the ground. 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 We're not going to one and one. You're the other. We're not going to go. A guy who was the same on it, but one didn't. I want a guy on a prime minister. Time on it, but don't know. Now, because you are my pastor, bam bam bam. I don't know that you were when again. I know I'm not here. I'm on a young and make a little car. I'm a one young power game. Joe got the junior year because okay, because it's more like because no, 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 but uh, one minister, you did you know, yeah, for a demo. Hundred day gemma, when I say, you go. I do lie in our way, do lie in a two battle lie in a non easy. Thank you. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't 
Thank you, Pastor Rose. Pastor Rose, you are you have the mic. Thank you, Mwanyoma. Thank you, Mwanyoma. Thank you, Mwanyoma. Thank you, Sorry, I'm not in there. 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 I'm not in there. Sorry, and Ada uh, Diorama, thank you for in Uno name because Kai Weti Hendi Boy in the Nana in the Rai and the Noiha we hear game a Kabia Frapia. Otai no Kai Weriaka in the Uwani Lecheta Niha we hear Eji Marai Udo in Okate. Na sika chine ke na mereko nu meha kogozi nu no note. On behalf of Germany, the Germany, IGP euros fifty a gemma na support na si C O S. Thank you for this wonderful speech. Thank you for all you are doing for your friends. Thank you the media. Thank you my comrade. Thank you, dear friend, back home for resolution. It's not easy what you people are going through, but I we promise you by His Excellency Obatobie, the key of Biafra that has been opening everywhere for us. Thank you, our Prime Minister Obatobie, the end of Biafra. Thank you. Thank you. And on behalf of Germany, we say we love you and we love this Ob Obako Ezenon. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you very much. Yeah, we have your Please contact your rep, contact your rep, contact your admin, contact the media, call us on the phone if you still have something to add to what I know that dear friends, some of them are just joining, some of them in America, Australia, everywhere. You just want to join now. We're sorry that you came late. Just get in touch yes. with us. Like I am now, you can Thank call me you. anytime and tell me, send that that your man this message. So that means we're going to have an overflow furthermore from this particular meeting. So just give us a call after this time. But right now we are signing out. Uh, yes. first time. Or to knock as a new no, and now I will have a cadoca macanda support to bear an abatabel as a abatanubi, Tana Cadona, on an abata. So I took a mola when they can now see OS. Thank you very much. Naked, I don't know who these are making only in all the cabinet members and I'm making on. Thank you very much. And all our media, a cadet alone me for money. Me. On our money in the time, no, 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 and I make a no, 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We don't be on your hand. Closing prayer. The closing prayer. Who is that? About you, Kwasiebu. One minute. About uh, two yeah. closing prayer. Ah, uh, closing prayer. Ah, uh, okay. Closing prayer. Ah, uh, okay. Two minutes. Closing. Then we go, please. Okay. With two minutes. Closing prayer. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. I I just want to ask you so, but I'm Mechi because all God was here. I don't want to to go. Um, now to go, Kikabiama. On your mother, Connor Dunka, I'm a tata, Metam Boro, to go, Kiki, Manekina, Ocatas, or Jesse Wemer, my bit of Quadro, I know one mayor. Or whatever me tan poro, I see ke kene de rege, ima ma de rege. I know ke ke chuku. I when I yoko ke sige, therefore I ina so. Ono dungo no mo ina so chuku. I moto si da I no bi, I na yoko. I no ni na I, I moto bi afra. I moto mo no mo I, I di kwane kamado. I we mo iki di na la bi afra. We je fe wo fu fe no di preacher. Because the name I won't go and all we can argue. Good morning, you can in there. All right, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information. And I see the odd. Sorry for the little break. Uh, we are fixing some things and now we are fully back. I see the B. Uh, we get on leak for my table this morning. Uh, and I see they happen. Uh, the members of the NIG and the members of the BLA, uh, they say they don't buy, they don't finalize on getting five more fighter jets. Uh, the matter is becoming very brutal and very, very serious uh, because uh, this uh, getting of new fighter jets means that the 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 issue of insecurity and every other thing happening in the Obodo is getting more serious 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 meanwhile uh, the air force is set to acquire another set of fire fighter jet and helicopter to boost its combat capabilities the aircraft are 24m346 fighter ground attack jet and 10 AW109 Trekker helicopters. The service had in June disclosed that it would acquire 50 new aircraft to strengthen its capabilities against armed gangs and other other terrorist team. Already, the service in the last two years had taken delivery of 12 Super Tucano, two additional DA-62 surveillance aircraft, and T-2 nine attack helicopters two diamond two multi-purpose aircraft among others in a statement on sunday director of public relations and information nigerian air force air commodore olu sola akimboye wase the chief of air staff air marshal hazan abubaka along with officials from the ministers of defense and finance we are in Italy to finalize the acquisition of the jet. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Mazi Simon Eba, have met with the United States uh, House members uh, in order to take the things that concerns the indigenous people of Biafra forward. <laughs> they say they want to take the matter forward and move forward, 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 and backward never. Uh, Simon Epa said that this is the first of its kind uh, for the Biafrans to be making such move in order to uh, let Americans, according to him, uh, he said that uh, the issue that concerns the indigenous people of Biafra has never appeared in Americans' parliament table or in Americans' house table 
I don't even know the story or what the story is all about. And Eba said that this is the first of its kind of taking these stories to the American house and let them deliberate on it. And of course, you know that America is the uh, leaders of the world. Uh, they are the world power. And when things is getting to America, uh, that means it's like um, taking a matter to the highest court of the nation uh, to be Supreme Court. America is the Supreme Court of the world. And Eber said that this is the first step of its kind, making sure that this matter is heard all over the world. And he has also declared December 2nd, 2024 to be the day of the self-referendum of the indigenous people of Biafra. According to reports on e-voting, voting that went online uh, for the referendum of the indigenous people of Biafra, 50 million people has been confirmed to have voted uh, for Biafra referendum. And according to statistics, uh, Igbos are about 70-something uh, million people uh, why the whole of Nigeria is estimated to be 250 million plus, and um, they say that the Igbos are only 70 something million. Uh, that was a long time ago census. Of course, you know that census was supposed to be carried out all over the nation last year, 2023, uh, during the government of Buhari. But because of the election, it was paused. And because of the issue of Naira scarcity that uh, ravaged the, the 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 nation as at that time, uh, because of those issues, uh, the issue of the census uh, was not conducted. But apart from that, uh, rough estimate is given in the to seven hundred and some uh, to be seventy something million, and the whole of Nigeria to be. 250 million, and out of the 70 something million of Ndibo, about 50 million of them have voted. About 50 million of them have voted for that particular uh, referendum that is coming up on the 22nd, uh, I mean, on the 2nd of December 2024. <laughs> um, if you no know, get mouth, no put body o uh, now waiting by the talk, they say this time the matter is becoming serious, um, not like the other times, but like every other day. Uh, of course, you know that this group are not the first group to start this fight. Uh, Kano Mazina and Kano was not even the first group. Uh, the declaration uh, by uh, Odume Gojuku, and after that, around 1999, after the 1999 constitution, uh, was Rike took up, and um, that became the Mazop a movement of a uh, uh, state of uh, Biafra, stop, 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 uh, Mazop, and the rest of them. Uh, they say that the, the members of the DSS have released two end bad government protesters in Kaduna. <laughs> Uh, government go they arrest people where they protest for bad government as if the government good uh, there was a protest staged the other time called end bad government uh, which took place uh, on the 1st of October replacing the the independence day uh, because if you watch you find out that a lot of um, people do not celebrate this independent day even banks that usually send funds and the rest of them, you find out that the economy has been bastardized. The economy is going backward. The economy is going back, 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 backward. And that is what the economy is like now. So everybody is suffering it, both Dick, Tom and Harry. And the, the greediness of the government and the parastatals, the governmental uh, machines, their greediness have not allowed the nation to move forward because... Uh, had it been that they are coming out for election is for the interest of the people, uh, you will tell me that the nation will be okay. But making this thing better should start even from uh, the money people used to buy, uh, uh, buying a ticket. When you are buying for a particular position, imagine a ticket that is worth uh, 40 million or 50 million. 
for you to acquire this ticket. And um, I think that that is where Nigeria got it wrong because the I think the first thing to that seat should be qualification. Uh, looking at your educational qualification, your integrity background and the rest of them, going back to your history, the kind of person you were, both in your school, everybody know your history. I think that this, this, some of these things should have been the qualification of taking one to that, that seat. Uh, but in Nigeria here, it is money. Uh, if you have the money to buy the ticket and you are, you are fortunate enough, uh, you get the victory. If you know how to, uh, you know, how to take your moves and maneuver, the victory is yours. Just like what happened in the concluded 2023 election where everybody was against Mahmoud Yakubu, who was the, who chaired the INEC of that uh, 2023 election that brought in the present government that have uh, made sure that the people we take Agbado and uh, Khan as they have promised and some people will be entering into the army uh, because there are a lot of youths as that was the promise of the government um but i want to ask many people who are crying about what is happening in this country somebody that came in and told you during his campaign that i'm um, eating abado and cassava i told you that this is what people are going to eat you know that is taking people back and immediately they entered the office, they removed the first subsidy, removing the first subsidy, incrementing the uh, 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 commodities and the rest of them, fair price. Not that they, not that the, 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 the subsidy was removed in order to uh, make the price of fuel come down, but at the removal of this subsidy, everything went very high. Meanwhile, the government is borrowing every day every day the government borrows and another money has been borrowed again from world bank and you wonder what these monies are being used for the nation said uh, they want everybody to become productive why not why is the nation itself not productive the people managing the nation are not productive in themselves because the nation called nigeria is not doing any export in order to increase their their income their revenue there is no export going on in Nigeria. Nigeria have a lot of things which the government have not yet tapped into. Even the farming we are doing, uh, farmings here are individual things. It's people that farm and feed the nation. The government has not seen it as a work. And even when they see it as a work and hand it over to the hand of people, you see these people squandering the money. The other time, there was a report of how much billion that was used just for clearing of bush. If you use such billions to clear bush, imagine how much you are going to use to uh, invest in crops, cash crops and the rest of them in that particular farm. And you see that the government are deceiving themselves because it's not the people they are deceiving. Because uh, whatever step the government is taking, it is glaring. It is clear. The people are seeing it. It is, uh, it is before the people. They know that uh, this government came in, thinks we are okay, and this government came in, thinks we are bad. During the government of, um, uh, what is his name, Yaradua, and uh, good luck, Jonathan, there, were, there was stability in the economy because the dollar stood for a particular rate for a long time. Even, I think, for the whole four years, uh, the only increment there was, I think, $10 margin before the other government came in and made sure that, that the, the, the wealth of the nation is sucked down into their personal pocket uh, pass down to their children, their grandchildren, uh, their relatives living good lives all over the world while other people are suffering. Meanwhile, this is where I'll be winding down the curtain. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. And also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news is dropping, you will be the first one to collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you. You are still with your one and only Nyonyo.